Cooltime9901 sent me a PM where he asked me if I thought the bailouts were happening because of cynical special interests and in politicians who just want to feather their own nests, or if the bailouts are a result of misguided Keynesian economic ideology. Forgive me, I'm paraphrasing as I accidentally deleted his PM, but Tool Time basically asked if I thought the bailouts were a result of ignorance or of malice, and I responded with this. There are Keynesians who are true believers. Keynes believed what he wrote, in my opinion, and his theories justified what the politicians already wanted to do, spend lots of money on their buddies and find ways to embezzle. The banksters have been doing this for over 200 years. Maybe they believe in Keynesian economics as well, but at any rate, it bolsters their own interests. Perhaps the bankers believe Keynesian economics because it gives them a lot of power. We are inclined to believe that which justifies what we already want to do. However, because there are multiple companies rent-seeking, they will tend to overseek because if one company doesn't lobby for the various goodies, someone else will. And so the incentive to conserve in lobbying efforts is diffused. For example, if 20 people in a room each had a milkshake, they would sip it diligently. But if 20 people all had straws connected to a single giant milkshake, ignoring backwash issues, they would all suck away as fast as possible. And that's what's happening with the state and rent-seeking corporations. Each corporation is sucking away as fast as possible at the public trough, which is why it will eventually dry up and fail. People look to the state like De Ex Machina, a machine from on high that can intervene and solve problems. They don't recognize that each state agency is just a company. It's not some blanket, except that they are companies that do things with tax money. And ignoring the projection of value onto fiat money for now, people pay taxes because they view it as legitimate in some way. Surely you'll get folks who will say taxes are too high, but very few say taxes are illegitimate, period. And that's all that is needed. That's why these companies get funded and the ignorant masses think it's some overarching security blanket, ignoring the fact that the Department of Defense couldn't even protect its own headquarters. The problem with the truthers and the NWOers is that they still view the state as de ex machina. It's always good to have people who are paranoid about the state, but these people don't recognize the state as a product of a confluence of interests and ignorances. The state is just a label, like the economy or the species. There is no singular state in physical reality any more than there is a singular singular economy it's just a label to apply uh, to a mode of behavior based on stupidness I can point out all sorts of things that keep the state going the education camps the political parties getting people to divert energy at each other but then folks make the mistake of thinking that I'm trying to claim that the state was somehow designed the state is not designed the ingenious control mechanisms of states evolve and the best states had the best control mechanisms, social democracies, and that's why social democracies um, dominate. They won the evolutionary game of states.